There are a number of ways to determine voltage drop. Table C8 in AS3000 is an example of the simplified method. Section 4 of AS3008 lists a number of other methods. We will be concentrating on the millivolt per ampere meter method. We will be focusing on table 40 through to 51 in AS3008. I previously suggested you highlight those tables in Appendix B of AS3008. This exercise is to determine actual voltage drop in volts of a known cable with a known maximum demand and a circuit length for a single phase circuit. In this exercise we will start by determining the voltage drop of the consumer's mains. The cable is a 16mm squared SDI with copper conductors and XLPE or X90 insulation installed underground. The circuit is 35 metres long with a maximum demand of 63 amps. The voltage drop calculations are listed in section 4 of AS3008. We are searching for a value of actual voltage drop, so we'll use the equation voltage drop equals length multiplied by current multiplied by the value of VC all divided by 1000. Our value of VC will come from either table 40 or table 41 as they relate to copper SDIs. Table 40 is for copper SDIs installed in trefoil. Table 41 is for copper SDIs installed in any other situational fashion, be it underground like in this example or whatever. Consulting table 41, column 8 for 90 degree, the value of VC is 2.55. However, as this is a single phase circuit, we need to convert this three phase value by multiplying it by 1.155 as per the footnote at the bottom of every voltage drop table. Populating our equation as such, we can calculate the value of voltage drop to be 6.49 volts. Next, we'll determine the value of voltage drop of the final sub-circuit. The cable is a 4mm squared 4 core and earth with a maximum demand of 25 amps and a length of 50 meters. We'll use the same equation and find the value of VC in table 42, which relates to multi-core cables with copper conductors regardless of the installation method. Consulting table 42, column 6 for 75 degrees, the value of VC is 9.71. However, as this is a single phase circuit, we need to convert this three phase value by multiplying it by 1.155, as per the footnote at the bottom of every voltage drop table. Populating our equation as such, we can calculate the value of voltage drop of the final sub-circuit to be just shy of 14 volts. AS3000 states that voltage drop shall be such that it does not exceed 5% between the point of supply and any other point within the electrical installation. In a single phase installation, that value is no greater than 11.5 volts. Total voltage drop in this installation has been exceeded by the voltage drop in the final sub-circuit alone, so it is a non-compliant installation.